Inside these containers are parts of the European Mercury Planetary Orbiter. It's about to make a journey from ESTEC, ESA's technical facility in the Netherlands, to another continent. From Schiphol Airport, the spacecraft travelled by cargo plane to the European spaceport in South America. Earlier, the orbiter was separated from a pump connecting its Phoebus instrument, an ultraviolet spectrometer that will examine Mercury's outer atmosphere. But the orbiter isn't the only part of BepiColombo's mission to Mercury. This joint mission also contains a scientific orbiter from the Japanese space agency JAXA, a European protective sun shield and a transfer module to ensure both spacecraft go into orbit. But first, the spacecraft's solar electric propulsion needs to make the challenging journey to Mercury. Because this planet is so close to the sun, you need to have a lot of energy to go there. It's even easier to send a spacecraft to Pluto than uh, to Mercury. You have to break un until the gravity of the sun and you need a lot of energy. And for that reason our mission takes quite a long time uh, because we also need the help of planetary flybys in order to bring our spacecraft there. Investigating Mercury will also be a challenge. It has surface temperatures as hot as a pizza oven, up to 45 degrees Celsius. But during the night it can reach as cold as minus 170 degrees. There's even ice in craters on the poles. Like Earth, Mercury has a magnetic field. Understanding how this interacts with the solar wind can help scientists better understand the effects of space weather on our planet. Four cargo planes and 70 sea containers have delivered the mission to the spaceport in French Guiana. Bepi Colombo will now be unpacked, reassembled with solar panels, tested and fueled. I'm working now 14 years on this mission, so it's, it's really like yeah, a baby growing up and then leaving the house finally. So for, for, for me, it's a special moment. Preparations for the launch campaign later this year will soon be underway. The next journey for Bepi Colombo will take seven and a half years to one of the hottest planets in our solar system.